Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for being here. Today I'm gonna to talk about what I bring to a planner conference. So if you saw my last video, it was the first vlog that I posted on my main channel, all about the Chicago Planner Conference, but then next week we are going to San Francisco for PlannerCon. So I go to a lot of conferences, and over the years I've really honed down what I bring with me, so I have only the essentials, things that I actually find myself using while I'm there. So whether you're new to the planner conference world and wanna know what you should bring, or you're just nosy like I usually am and wanna see what I bring with me, this video is gonna be perfect for you. But before we get started, be sure to subscribe so you see more videos from me every single week. I am now doing vlogs on this channel, like I said in that first vlog that you saw earlier this week. So there will be a new vlog every single Friday, so definitely subscribe so you can see that, as well as other planning, organization, lifestyle content. So like everyone, I think the first few planner conferences I went to, I brought basically everything I owned. I brought a ton of stickers, and back then I was using washi, so I brought some washi. And you will find out very quickly that there's not a lot of planning that goes on at planner conferences. There's just so many activities and workshops and speakers and vendors booths that you don't really find yourself sitting down to actually plan. So the first thing I always bring is this planner folio from Erin Condren. It's super handy to pack full of items so they're not like floating around my bag or getting lost. It's everything in one spot. So let's open her up. And on the inside, I have my deluxe monthly Erin Condren planner. I have a custom cover that I made on it that says, inhale lots of love in, exhale lots of love out. It's one of my favorite mantras and it really just, I, I always get so like happy and just calm when I see this cover. So I have that cover on and sometimes I don't even bring this planner. If I know it's gonna be a very short trip, I will just leave this at home, but for longer trips like the San Francisco one, I want to make sure I have it. And if I know I will have a little bit of downtime, I definitely bring it because of this next thing, my Polaroid zip. So I am obsessed with putting photos into my planner. I think it makes planning so much more fun and it makes me wanna keep my planners. I love memory planning. So I bring this with me so I can print off all of the photos that I take with you guys or friends at the conferences so I can include them in my deluxe monthly. Sometimes I'll leave this at home because I know I won't have time, but I also like to bring it just, just so I have it. So when I'm back in the hotel room after a long, amazing planner day, I can remember everything, sit down, print them off, and just really enjoy the overall like aura that a conference has. So on top of all those things, I also like to bring a few Erin Condren pens. I have just a random assortment of colors because I like to use these to check off to-do lists, add a little bit of color to my planning since I'm a very functional type of planner. So I bring these just in case and they can easily sit in like the pocket that comes with the folio. I also of course have a pen, but I also have a pen in my traveler's notebook that I'll talk to you about in a second. But then I bring contact cards. These are my new Oh Hello Living cards that just have my name, my website, my email address, and my Instagram handle. These are super popular for planner conferences, so you can hand them out to new people that you meet so they can follow you on social media and you can keep in touch with them. A lot of people do little sticker samplers, which I think is adorable, but I have these just contact cards from Aaron. Condren. So that is everything that goes into the planner folio and it all just sits really nicely together and it's super easy to close. Like, let me show you. It's just all in there really nicely and then you close it up and then I can just throw it into my carry-on suitcase or into my purse or my handbag and then it's super compact and everything is in one place. But if I don't bring this, sometimes I just don't bring it at all. I'm just like, Let's do this thing. I will bring only my traveler's notebook. This is my A5 Oh Hello notebook. I did a recent tour of this if you wanna go check that out. It's very functional. There's not a lot of cute stuff in it. It just gets the job done. I bring this with me everywhere because this is where I write all of my to-do lists, all of my ideas, and conferences have a way of giving you just so many really good ideas even if they're nothing to do with planning. Like I'll just be there and suddenly be like, oh, I wanna do this because it's just such an inspiring place being around such amazing women and men who just have such like amazing personalities and everyone is so loving. I've never been to a conference where I'm like, oh, that was terrible and boring and no one was nice. Like that is not a thing you say about conferences. So I always have this with me. 
no matter what, because you never know what ideas you're gonna have that you wanna jot down really quickly. If you are new to going to planner conferences, you might not know about this next one, but it is sort of customary, it's kind of become a trend to give table gifts to the people sitting at your table. So during the opening session or general session of a conference when the like main speaker is there you sit with a group of people that either you're assigned to that table or you just randomly sit down there and you just give everybody gifts you definitely do not have to do it if it's not within your means but it's kind of become a practice of just giving people little gifts or trinkets or planner supplies as a way to be like i'm super excited to be here i'm so glad you're at my table so what i usually bring is an enamel pin from my shop so i just have these little flower ones here to show you so you Usually there's about eight to 10 people at your table and you just make gifts for that table. Some people even go as far out as to just make like 100 or 200 little trinkets or bookmarks or something to give to people who they run into at their workshops or whatever. But I tend to just keep to the eight to 10 items for my table mates and it's just a fun little thing that the planner community does at these conferences that I wanted to make sure I included in here because I always bring those. So that kind of goes along with the supplies I bring to a conference. But I am super curious to know what you guys bring to a conference. I would love to know if your collection's like mine. Is it even smaller? Do you still bring stickers and find some time to plan? What do you do with your stash when you go to a conference? Oh, I also sometimes bring D stash items. Not all conferences will have like a D stash table, which is a place to bring your unwanted planner supplies, washi tape stickers that you want to give to a new home. So it's kind of like a like an adoption agency of planner supplies. So you put all your stuff out and then you can go through and see what other people have left and then add some stuff to your collection. And it's just a really cool way to swap supplies. So if there is a D-stash table, usually the conference will tell you. Chicago did not have a D-stash, but I know PlannerCon will. I'll bring a bag of things that I'm just not in love with anymore so I can share them with someone else. But back on point, I would love to know what you guys bring to conferences. Are you a heavy packer, a light packer? Do you bring stickers? Do you not bring anything at all? And just bring yourself and your excitement let me know in the comments below and if you've never been to a planner conference before let me know if you have any questions about them in the comments so I can answer any like misconceptions or curiosities about what a planner conference is like because it's not entirely what you expect it to be like I said you don't do a lot of planning there but that is gonna be it for today's video as always thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to see more videos from me every single week give this one a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one bye